Hello there, fellow people from the internet. Today we're building a new aeroplane from scratch. So without further ado, here it is. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, unfortunately, I can't fly this today because it is absolutely freezing and it is also really windy. So that wouldn't be a great idea for the first flight. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, if you could leave a like, then that would be great. Uh, and also subscribe, obviously, if you're not already and become part of the Project Air crew. Yeah. As I say, you're gonna have to go back in now because it's freezing. I'll tell you what, subscribe and then you'll be able to see it flying in the next episode, probably if I get around to it. I need some coffee, I think. Peter McKinnon will be proud. Thank you, machine. Um, I think that we should go over a few of the details of this because this video has been quite quick and you might want to see a bit more about it. Starting at the front, this motor is off a multi-rotor. So it's an Emacs motor and it is 935 KB. And then for servos and stuff, just simple, really cheap 9 gram stuff. And then there's a central servo for the ailerons, um, which are really simple and yeah, you can see how it works there. Coming on to the way this is attached, uh, this actually broke, this is it's broken already. This is a little wedge which holds the wing straight because obviously this is a tube so I found that was a bit tricky to work out how to do that but worked it out seems to work quite well one of my favorite bits is that you can open this I'll have to see whether this holds in where <laughs> when this is pulling but it's pretty um, tight I wouldn't worry about that too much the battery is a two cell and that's gonna yeah hopefully power the whole massive aeroplane the wing is 1.7 meters for new people to aeroplanes the reason why the wing is so far back is because the center of gravity the wing needs to be over the center of gravity and that's in the middle of the plane pretty much and this if you're wondering why this is now a tube instead of a piece of balsa wood i found out when i picked the plane up and waggled the tail around it meant that the whole thing was going because it was all flexy. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Project Z.